Hey love, it's the Shy Love Radio Show. I'm back. We at 2020. Join us today because we're gonna do what? Take the mask off. Mm. Pop Radio Worldwide, our hard radio, and Spotify Premium. You know we're gonna get it done when we on the platform. It's all love and shy love. To address. And we may have problems with each other, but everything starts from self. Self is what you must get together first before you really can address anything with anybody else. So, today we're going to talk about mask off. That's the thing for today. Empowering you to connect with yourself, to find out who you are, to discover who you really are. Because there was a natural greatness that was given to you long before you got to this point in life. You know how when you have a fresh newborn baby and that baby seemed to be so in tune and it's having like little, little laugh sessions to itself, bad self. They still connect and people say, the old folks say, oh, they still connected to God. They still connected to heaven. They can see it. <laughs> We had that in us. That's who we originally were. That's who we originally are. And living down here and being birthed into this earth plane, we have been conditioned by so many people, by so many environments. It's a continuous thing, especially with this technology. Everybody's telling you who you should be, how you should be. You need to discover you. You ask yourself, is this who I want to be? So as you, as you, you know, look in that mirror and you acknowledge who you've become on the positive side and on the negative side and on the indecisive side. Acknowledge this is where I am with this. Because if you don't keep it real with yourself, Nothing's going to change. If you don't see what you are doing, the impact that you are having, nothing is going to change. So it doesn't matter who around us is constantly telling us that, oh, well, you need to get it together in this area or you got it going on in this area and so forth. We have to exceed it within ourselves. That's just like self-esteem and attractiveness. Everybody could think you're attractive, but you. And it's not going to matter what anybody says until you see that pretty girl in. So, I'm going to let that get into, uh, take us to our next step. So, after you acknowledge who you are, then you analyze yourself. And I like to call this portion, peel the onion. There are many layers to an onion, just like there are many layers to a human being. Peel the onion back, layer by layer, baby. And know that it's a process because it's the layers that make up the onion. So on your first peeling, you did something. You acknowledged that. You acknowledged that I peeled this off. I'm going to check it out. This part of me. I'm going to check this out. I'm going to go back inside myself. And I'm going to um, try to understand, okay, where did I get this from? What inspired this part of me? Um, why did this inspire this part of me. What are the effects of me having this particular layer as a part of who I am? Am I building up what needs to be built up? Now, am I destroying what needs to be destroyed? What needs to be destroyed? And that's something that we all have to 
in order to continue to elevate. And I'm telling you this because I've done it. I do it. I'm going to continue to do it. And once you start to shed certain parts of you, once you start to recondition certain parts uh, of you, um, doors actually start to open that you could not go through before because you wasn't on the right frequency. So as you're discovering the why, a lot of times it is family members, it is close friends, it is, um, you know, just our culture, our environment that is the justifiable reason for why we do what we do. Or you could have heard, this is just the way I am. They said I've been mean all my life. You have to discover the why. Or they told us to do this. Sometimes, even your family or even your friends or even just your culture and your environment misguide you. Because they are misguided in certain areas. Sometimes people uh, reflect their experiences onto another. So now you condition to believe that if you walk like this, this is how things are, you know, supposed to be. And in that case, we have to go into breaking generational cycles. But we can talk about that later. I'm going to, I hope you all been enjoying yourself so far. Uh, we're going to talk about some things. I want you all to let that marinate. And you know I'll be right back. <laughs> the Shy Love Radio Show on Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeartRadio, and Spotify Premium. Hey, welcome back to the Shy Love Radio Show. It's your girl, Melanie. Pop Radio Worldwide, baby. That's what the station is, you did. iHeartRadio and Spotify Premium. Check us out and keep us on. So, I was talking to you all about 2020. It's 2020. Everybody was... A lot of people that I know, including myself, was kind of glad to say bye-bye to 2019. <laughs> so, every, and it went so fast. So we're in 2020 and we're talking about taking the mask off. How long are you going to just exist as some type of robotic android or something like a humanoid or agent? Like, <laughs> what is going on? That's, that's tapping to you. Who are you? And as I say, you ain't got to necessarily tell me, baby, but keep it real with yourself. So that's what we've been talking about, just to give you a smaller synopsis. I hope those who um, were with me at first, we um, had to, uh, I hope you all are enjoying yourself um, and learning some things. And I want you to be able to uh, feel free to chime in and leave some little comments. I might bring y'all to the show so we can discuss some things. But it's 2020 and it's what? Mask off. Say that again. Let the, let the listeners know again what's going on with the mask today, honey. It's 2020. 2020, mask off. Mask off. Ooh. Ooh. That's what we're getting back to, y'all. Mask off, shy love in the building. 2020 kickoff. She brought in the mask to the studio. And she's explaining, take your mask off. Take your mask off. Tap into you, the greatness of you. Acknowledge how you have been conditioned. Know what needs to be reconditioned. So, yeah, we were talking about, you know, looking at the man or the woman in the mirror. Acknowledging who you've become. Who are you at this point? If you find that... A lot of your conversation is on some back in the day. If you find that in your present, you're constantly living in the past of who you were, that's a red flag, baby. That's a red flag, baby. Let's come on in the present. Look in the mirror and look into your ass at who you are now. Because that's helping to determine where you're going to go. I said the, we have next up, peel the onion, where you are analyzing yourself layer by layer, layer by layer. 
and there are a lot of layers to it. Then we went into discovering the why. Is it because I've been told that this is the way it is? Is it because of an experience? Is it because of my culture? Is it my family? My friend? Who? Where did this come from? Whether good or bad, where did it come from? And you should um, really start to take note of who you're allowing to influence your life. And as I tell my kids, look at a person's track record. Okay, I heard you gave me a little advice. I followed it. Okay, it turned out well for me. Okay, thumbs up. Okay. Okay, it's a little pattern. You're telling me some stuff. Okay, it's turning out well for me. Okay, I can take your, take your words into consideration. Although, I have the final say on how I move. Then you have some people who, uh, and sometimes they really feel like they're, you know, they know. <laughs> but, it's not, it's not working out for you. When you listen to this person, it's not quite working out for you. It's not quite you and you what you want. And we're going to discuss more of that in a later segment because I got it all set up. So yes, we were talking about discovering the why and who influenced you and so forth. So, after you get to that point, now you have to decide, okay. Um, I need a specialized care plan just for myself. And with that care plan, you go over all the areas of your life. Your cognition, your uh, psychosocial well-being, uh, your health, um, you know, your, your relationships. Each one has a category. Every area of your life. That specialized care plan should involve every area of your life. And you fill it in. And then you're going to write, uh, you know, what stays, what goes, uh, what are you trying to build up to. And know that it's going to take a process. And know that that in itself, just by me talking about the specialized care uh, plan, it can be overwhelming to some. So then in that case, you need to seek additional help. Somebody who kind of know more of how to guide you towards whatever it is that you're trying to do. Which is, ultimately, to better yourself. Because once we start to better ourselves, the energy is going to transfer over. It's going to, you know, spread out. So ultimately, it'll be good for everybody. Any work that we do on ourselves will ultimately be good for anybody. But not the ones that was trying to use you. Not the ones who was manipulating and deceiving you. Because they still need you under their darkness. <laughs> but I'm sad to them, honey, to continue to live life. <laughs> <laughs> and know that, um, that it's, it's going to take some patience. It is going to take some patience. You're going to be putting in some work on some things. And it's going to seem like this is not working. You know how many little Sharakians I just talked to who are uh, trying to cross over on the legal way. And they like, this ain't working for me. I done filled out 50 applications. I didn't, you know, um, I, didn't, I didn't steal this time. But people already know that you steal. So, of course, people don't still look at you in the same light that they know you in. And you have to stick with that to prove that this is who I am now. So, it's patience. It's, it's, it's a process. Sometimes you're going to um, backslide, as the, as the elders say. And then you acknowledge it. Stop where you are. Fix what you can. Correct yourself. And keep on going. Give yourself a little pat on the back. Give you a little a quick second, you know, a quick little party. Celebrate the steps that you have taken because you could just continue to exist. And, you know, as we say, reward yourself. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate. It could be your favorite treat. Um, it can be, um, for example, the Nicki Minaj and Drake song, Proud of You. You can play that for yourself. You know, you can tell yourself if you don't have people around you who are welcoming the changes that you're making in your life. You tell yourself, I'm proud of you. Look in the mirror. Girl, I'm proud of you. I know what you've been through. 
I know what you're going through. I'm proud of you. You deserve this. Tell yourself that. Whatever mistakes I made, I'm going a, I'm to a correct it. I'm going to make sure not to make those same mistakes again. But you deserve where you're going. Tell yourself that. It's the truth. I ain't gonna last you. And then you know, hugs. Something, cause we are we are a technical people. We like affection, we like that touch. Hug. If you don't have anybody else to hug, hug yourself. Sometimes you just gotta hug yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know and before we go off and talk of a little break I want us to give a quick shout out to our business of the week we're doing business of the week here on uh, so you know up in Inglewood we always up to some good that's what I like to say I like to you know switch my stuff some uh, but check out Cultural Connection 360 located on at 400 West 71st Street, open Monday through Saturday from 10 to 7. Their number is 773-527-6015. CultureConnection360.com is the website. You have Alkaline Water, the Shea Butter, um, the Hidden Colors movie, all type of black manufactured um, items here at this store. Uh, something else that I well, and I shop there myself, and uh, you can get sage. They they have a nice little variety. I really like the alkaline water, um, especially because everybody is getting sick during this time, and we need to minimize the mucus in our bodies, and that's what will help us get better fast. So Melanie, uh, let me interrupt you real quick. So they are our business of the week on IR Radio this yes. week. Yes. So, uh, say their name again. Culture. Culture Connections 360. Culture Connections, congratulations. You are our pop radio worldwide, Shy Love Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify Premium, <laughs> Business of the Week. Congratulations, congratulations. There'll be other businesses that I will acknowledge. Uh, if you want me to come to your business and uh, we can set up something there or you can come up with it, we can work it out. But I definitely have my eye open on the businesses, so you never know who is in your facility and who's going to go back in. You know, let the people Drop know. Drop the email for you right now, honey, before we go to uh, break. Shylovechicago at gmail.com. Hey! <laughs> C-H-I-L-O-V-E-C-H-I-C-A-G-O. Shylovechicago at gmail.com. I'm going to let that marinate for a little while. A shout out to Coastal Connection 360 on... Um, 71st and Stewart actually. It's the Shy Love colors. It's green and yellow on the outside, so you can't miss it right on the corner. Go there, tell them Shy Love sent you. Um, support black businesses. We will be back momentarily with the Shy Love Radio Show on Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, and Spotify Premium. Let it all marinate, and I'll be right back. Hey, love, welcome back to the Shy Love Radio Show on Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, and Spotify Premium. We were talk. We are talking about what mask off. This twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Take the mask off. Uh, tapping into who we are, getting to know who we are. We did a little synopsis. You all can go back because I gotta continue to move forward. Shout out with to the um, business of the week, Cultural Connection three sixty on seventy first. <laughs> So we were talking about the self because everything starts with self. Not saying that every problem that you have is because of you, but you are the foundation as far as um, if you're going to make it through it or not. Are you going to elevate you know, beyond it? You are the foundation. You are the core of it. And you know, outside stuff, even with other people, that's like ancillary because it's, it's you. So we were talking about that. Now, that is important, but your relationship with others is also important. See, we can have our own world in our own mind, 
But that's not the reality. The reality is that we are here with others. So we have to learn how to share this space um, and who we associate with and build with and listen to and so forth allows to influence our lives plays an, a significant role in you know who we become and who we continue to to be. So okay, once you start to look at yourself and get your specialized care plan going for that and you're working on it. Okay? Look at others. Who are you who do you have in your company? We have different circles. We got some that's like real close chest to chest with, you know? Then you got some that's over here. Then out there, out there, you know, it, it spreads on. So we got associates and, you know, people who we just nod to and this, this, whatever. Nevertheless, they are still connected to us energetically. They are still affecting our energetic field. So, you look at your relationship with others. Those who are closest to you. First. That usually involves the people in your house. Because your house is connected to you. And usually that affects how your day starts. That whatever is going on in the house. Or whoever it is that you're intimate with. Or, you know, your closest circle. You go to them first. You look around. Look around. This isn't a thing of whether or not somebody is perfect or you necessarily judging them on um, the way that they live their life. But what you're doing is evaluating and assessing the personal relationship between you and this individual person. Okay? Um, so, what fruits are bearing between me and this person's relationship? What can this person count on me for? Because like I said again, before you start to look at what somebody else doing or not doing, look at yourself. What can this person, if I ask this particular person, um, do you know I love you? Yeah. How you know I love you? And they able to tell you I know you love me because I know that if I don't have nobody else, I got you. Okay? Say that, I, say that one more again. I know that if I don't have nobody else, I got you. So they, they telling you how they feel. Or they may be saying, well, I kind of, no, I don't really know that you love me. <laughs> you hear me? I don't really know that you love. You look flaky. No consistency. You did some foul stuff directly to me. Okay, then you got some people who don't tell you, hell no, you don't love me. <laughs> you don't love. So you look at that and then let them explain why they feel like they feel. So, okay, let's say you got yourself in order and this person says, yeah, I know you love me. I know things ain't perfect between us, but I know that you love me. I know that you'll move for me. I know that you'll protect me. I know that you are, you show me that you are considerate of who I am. All right. Now you look back. You know that I love you. Do I know that you love me? Um, are you considerate to me the way that you said that I am considerate of you? Do you give to me like I give to you? You feel like I put you as a priority. I feel like an option. What type of fruit are these individual relationships bearing? You sit down, you have a talk. 
this is put it on the table. Even though people know what they be doing. But sometimes people in a be in a low vibrational way, it be other stuff going on, you know. So you put it on the table and say, look, this is where I, where I am with this. I value our relationship, friendship, sistership, you know, whatever it is, ship. I don't want us to, I'm making changes in my life. I like for you to still be here with me, but this is how I feel. And if you're not seeing any, and I say active, when I say get up to it and put your money where your mouth at, not a initial, um, I'm just going to pacify you by doing what you doing a little bit of what you want me to do. I mean some consistency. I mean some in front of your face and behind your back. And ultimately, you got to decide if you even want to go through that process with that person for them to get it together. Why? Because you got some stuff that you need to work on within yourself. You have some math that you need to take off. So we look at that and sometimes we have to rearrange certain things, rearrange certain positions, rearrange certain people. As I like to say, you have now changed the dynamics of our relationship. Where I was before, I am no longer. And you can be that way and not attempt to tear that person down. But it's just time to go. <laughs> and you need to... <laughs> what is our purpose? What's your purpose for having these people in your life? What is their purpose for having you in their life? You know, back in the slavery days, master saw the worth of the slave but didn't want the slave to acknowledge his own worth. Because he liked him up under his thumb so he can control it. But at the same time, tear you down and tell you that you're nothing. And yet you're still working. I don't want nothing to keep working for me. Look at the mad games or you got the people who will do something good for you and they'll come through for you but they're abusive it's only on certain little times you know it's just not healthy check the healthiness of the relationship are you all bringing out your best selves are you all inspiring and motivating? Do you honor this person to where their word means something to you? The healthiness of the relationship is your energy. You can literally feel when you're around good energy, you, you pep up. You're not dragging. If you notice that you're starting to get sick, you got headaches, um, depression is kicking up and kicking in, anxiety. I mean, my God, it's time to step back. For the sake of healthiness, the sake of self, the sake of love. Because being in a volatile space with somebody constantly, it's going to lead to ruin because somebody going to get hurt. That's all I'm going to Siblings, to a certain point, y'all all up in mama's house, gotta go. Y'all <laughs> Somebody gotta move out. <laughs> you know, you love your sibling, but <laughs> because of y'all energy together, it's just not working out. So I hope you all are enjoying the show so far. You are here with Melanie, the founder of Shy Love, on the Shy Love Radio Show. At Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeartRadio, and Spotify Premium. I'm going to let everything that I've been saying just marinate for a little bit. And you know I'm coming right back. Hey, welcome back to the Shiloh Radio Show. <laughs> Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeartRadio, and Spotify Premium. Oh my God, this hour is going back pretty quickly. 
We have been we have been talking, we have been connecting, learning, peeling back some layers, getting deeper into self, uh, getting deeper into our relationships with others. 2020, baby. Y'all know what this is. Mask off. You hear me? T take it off. Take, keep it off. Keep it off. Get you some face cream. Fix up what you need to do. Keep the mask off. Love yourself. Accept yourself. Stop listening to the lies said by others that you have actually started to manifest from yourself. Goodness gracious. So yes, we're talking about others and what purpose is being served in the relationships that we have with everyone? Shout out to all my Facebook friends and family. All the love and support that I'm getting on here tonight. I really appreciate and love you all. Uh, so we're talking about the changes that need to be made. Um, dealing with those, those that you have to let go. A lot of times when it's time to disconnect, it's fire, it's mayhem, it's, it's you know, it's craziness. Y'all walked in peacefully. We can't just say, okay, this ain't, I, you know, it's all right. Don't you think enough damage was done without trying to continue to do damage? Do more damage? Burning bridges? Because sometimes you can go too far. Setting boundaries. Goodness gracious. When you assess, assess your relationship with others, you need to start assessing boundaries. What have you been allowing? Who have you been trying to appease? That's not in a, you know what I'm saying? That's not in a, in a mutually uh, loving manner. Set some boundaries. Who is taking advantage of you for your feelings toward them? Set boundaries. Say this thing. It's, look, hold on. I've been practicing that. <laughs> no. Y'all hear that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do that. It's, a, it's, it's like two letters. No. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but see, I like the golden rule. The golden rule is to treat others as you want to be treated. So, I like yeses. So, I'm mad telling you yes. But baby, if I'm not getting the yeses back, we're going to do this right here. No. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> and stand on it. No. Set boundaries for yourself. A lot of times we are, it's the same same stuff, different face. Because we still have that energy that somebody is picking up on that is saying, I could treat you this way. No. That's it. Flatline. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Can't do it. Do a little something. <laughs> Dance, you know something. No. If you have help <laughs> because some people are like um, people pleasers, like they want you to like them. Just me on a personal note. I just love to love and be my little self. It's not that I necessarily want you to like me. I really don't care about that. <laughs> this is just my natural energy. You know, this is just my natural energy. But you got some people who like, like seriously, that's their vibe. Like, I need these people to like me. Let's get you some additional help, baby. Because <laughs> you are not being your natural self because your, what's leading your mind is, I need these people to like me. So I need to be who they want me to be. I need to be who they need me to be. Versus this is who I am. And you just happen to be experiencing the ambiance of it. That's a difference. And be patient, patience, patience, patience. Everybody has their own bags. Uh, we were not all raised the same. We have a lot of things in common. Um, 
And even with the stuff that we have in common, it does not mean that it has of impacting you the same way that it impacted them. It might not have impacted you as greatly as it has impacted them or vice versa. So patience. Patience, patience with yourself. Patience with others. Rewarding yourself for um, setting those boundaries. Rewarding yourself for um, being the I don't like this term, bigger person, but holding yourself accountable for what you, what you, the part that you played in the situation. You know, it's kind of like growing up. Adults, and I, I tell my kids that. If it's something that you can't hold yourself accountable for, maybe you should do it. Because, I don't know. Mark Ricky say, I, you know, your heart don't pump no Kool-Aid. My heart don't pump no Kool-Aid. So if I'm not willing to stand on it, maybe I shouldn't be engaging in it. Yeah, just me. Just me. I also have, um, because I said to seek additional help, we do have a few numbers that I would like to share with you all. Doing this that is, that's, from, that's from the station. <laughs> you know what? I've been waiting on that list, and I meant to do it myself this week, and oh my God, that just made me jump over to it. Thank you for handling that. No problem. Every week I'm going to bring something. Uh, Rosalina, shout out. Louise Hollins. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, so we have some self-help numbers here. The suicide number is one. If you all have been paying attention to the news and stuff lately, there has been an e increase in suicides lately. Um, especially when you, when you look at yourself, like for real, for real, and you see you. I mean, let yourself feel you, all that you have became. That hurts. You be like proud of yourself on one end, but on the other end, it can be devastating because it's like, how did, how did I get to this place? And sometimes um, when people acknowledge certain things about themselves, they feel like I, I'm in it too deep and I can't get out. So their only way out is suicide. So we have a suicide number here, 1-800-273-8255. Again, that suicide hotline number is 1-800-273-8255. We also have, I also have um, the number to Planned Parenthood, 877-201-5555. Seven seven four five, and that's Planned Parenthood. That's for parenting, not parenting, uh, helping you to keep whatever control in your life that you need to do, whatever moves that you need to make to do what's best for you. Uh, we have the so we have the number for the suicides who to you know help you stay here because you have a purpose. Uh, Planned Parenthood, whether or not you want to get on an abortion, keep the baby, not keep the baby, uh, need advice, whatever. Um, we have the Shy Love Pantry. You can connect, contact me at shylovechicago at gmail.com. Uh, we, uh, we have a surplus of clothing right now, especially warm clothing, so you can contact for that. So it's like, see, even when you're trying to help yourself, there are resources out here to where you're like, okay, I got my specialized care plan. I need this, I need whatever. We have resources out here who are willing to help. Um, especially here in Chicago, and he's actually a host here on Pop Radio Worldwide, Tyrone F. Muhammad. Uh, he represents the ex cons for community. <laughs> I love salutes. I am proud of you and what you are doing. Frontline Radio. He also has a show here with us. Frontline, Frontline Radio. Frontline Radio. Yeah, yeah. Frontline so Radio. Too. Um, because I know they're here, especially in Chicago, there are a lot of people with backgrounds. A lot of people who are ex-cons. And, you know, that's, that can be a problem a lot of times because of your background and then you're making a family and, you know, the mama like, we got this baby now, we got to make something happen and they're not calling you back. So, you know, you just never know. Um, 
what can come up. Just hook up with the men and see how you can get some type of assistance. Um, also, jobs is something else that people say that they can't find in, which is causing a lot of stress in their lives. So, uh, number two, the Chicago Hire Company, 1312-726-5200. Again, that's the Chicago Hire Company, 312-726-5200. And last but not least, because you know the United States is a melting pot, and Chicago in itself is also. So, we have an, I have a number here for the Illinois Coalition for Immigrant and Refugee Rights. That number is 855-435-7693. Again, <laughs> 855-435-7693. You know we had to make some noise. <laughs> those, those are all very, very, very good numbers. And... Uh, Anybody need that help, man, um, take advantage of it. And thank you, Melanie, for making sure that out of the stations, you were the first one that got us a number. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know it's all love and shy love. Yes. So if we can, um, we got to build up. If you can't use your energy to help somebody, don't use your energy to hurt them, okay? Everybody is working on what they need to work on. Um, sometimes hurtful situations do occur, you know, but uh, we'll get through it. It's all right. I am so glad to be back home. I told y'all I'll be back the first Monday of January. <laughs> Man, we're going to be doing a, uh, before we get out of here, and, uh, you know, it's all uh, all that, right? And uh, the mask off thing was genius. I loved it this week. But uh, could you tell our people uh, tuned in uh, like you did this week and salute to, what's the name again, the business? Business uh, of the week? The, uh, Cultural Connection Cultural, 360. Cultural Connection, what? Cultural Connection 360. It's on 71st and Stewart. So right salute the to them. Uh, I heard through the grapevine that you're doing a mentor of the month too, ain't you? Yes, I will. So what are you looking for? Now let the listeners of uh, Pop Radio Worldwide, you know, putting people on radio and Shy Love and all the other shows. What are you looking for as mentors of the month? How can they get at you if they think they're a great candidate to be a mentor of the month uh, here on uh, Pop Radio Worldwide, Spotify, Premium, My Heart Radio? Well, what we're looking for is to be for you to be a mentor of the month is genuineness um, because there are a lot of people who are what wear masks and they getting you to trust them but you can't trust them genuineness about whatever it is that they're doing i need somebody genuine tell them again what to email you or, or people to give it's, references at shylovechicago at gmail.com or you can hit me up on facebook in my inbox instagram too right instagram melanie hogan seven yeah, so I need someone that's genuine. I need someone that is active. Let's go. Let's go. I need go. someone who is effective. I need someone who is, um, who carries the proper energy to inspire and to uplift. Um, I actually have someone in mind for my first mentor of the month. Nice. Taji Gaines. That's who I'm going to make Taji Gaines. mentor of the month. Oh, yes. she's named her yes. right now. Right now. Mentor right of the now. month. Uh, here on uh, Pop Radio uh, Worldwide, Shiloh Radio, Spotify Premium, iHeart yeah. Radio. Taji Gaines, you are our, uh, congratulations, yeah. you are our winner of Mentor of the Month. We'll see you soon, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to hook up with you. We're going to uh, bring you into the studio. He is definitely working right for So, thank you all very much. I love you. I miss you. I'll be back. Thank you all for tuning in to the Shy Love Radio Show on Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. I done did a lot, a lot. You ain't did shit at all. Whipping up a pop. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to the Shy Love Radio Show on Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeartRadio, and Spotify Premium. You can catch me um, on YouTube under the Pop Radio World. 
uh, world wide channel <laughs> you can actually google or put the little search in under the Shy Love radio show and it'll take you straight to all of my videos on Pop's channel Pop Radio Worldwide on uh, YouTube uh, iHeartRadio and Spotify Premium Facebook Melanie Hogan LinkedIn Melanie Hogan Instagram Melanie Hogan 7 I'm out here easy to find Candle.